Joe Aaron from Morehouse Farm here with today's knitting tip, which is how to do a yarn over. And believe it or not, this is one of those first stitches that most of us do by accident and think, oh no, we've made a horrible mistake, but we already know how to do it. So if we can just channel that, we will be able to make some pretty beautiful lace designs. So when we're knitting, I'll show you first as a picker, we need to make sure that the yarn is in back for knitting and we bring the yarn forward underneath the needle when we're ready to purl, okay? That's how it looks. But what if we bring the yarn from the back after we knit forward over top of the needle and then knit it by accident? We end up with a little hole. That's called a yarn over, and when you do them at specified intervals as the pattern calls for, you end up with a beautiful lacy design. And that could be something like the holes that'll hold the laces on our baby booties, or it could be something like the Miriam cowl that Vanessa Knits designed, and we're gonna tackle that in just a little bit. This is a dark purple, but if you can see these chevrons here, those are formed by yarn overs, and it's a super simple design because it usually involves a yarn over, as I just described, which is wrapping the yarn over top of the needle. So coming forward, back over the top, and then knitting. And usually a yarn over, because it creates an extra stitch, will then be followed by knit two together in order to maintain the stitch count. So if I just made a yarn over and then kept on knitting, I would have effectively increased one stitch. Instead, a lot of patterns will tell you to do the yarn over, which is an increase, and then knit two together in order to maintain the stitch count, okay? So looking at that from a throwing perspective, knit, knit. If I want to do a yarn over, I need to bring the yarn forward over the top, and then I will knit again and see how it makes that yarn over that little neat hole. That can be used for buttonholes in a pinch. It can be used for lots of design elements. So again, up and over and we'll knit two together to make the stitch count remain the same. All right, and you can do that the same way if you're purling along. Okay, this one's almost a little bit easier because now you bring the yarn to the back anyway to knit. And that's again what we do inadvertently when we're brand new to knitting. We create that hole because we just brought the yarn over the top of the needle. Shown this way when we are picking. I just need to start with a purl again. Look, it just automatically lays itself there because your finger is up here on top of the work anyway so that you're ready to knit right after that yarn over. And that's all there is to it. Happy knitting from Morehouse Farm.